yes, I am sure. I just want to get one thing out of the way. Whoever packed that room has really taken a piss by adding really big playing cards in there. Whoever did that, fuck you. And yes, I deliberately picked seven. Anyway. That, that, that hit the one person in the room recording me. I can't wait to watch this recording back and it's hard for you to see a card come out of nowhere and go, Ooh. Anyway, hello, my name is George Coppin. I'm an actor. Yay. I'm a comedian. Yay. And I'm also a professional dwarf. Yay. Yeah? I recently became professional after filling out the PDF. <laughs> now, Sally, where, where are you, Sally? Yeah, don't, uh, Sally, it's black, just going... <laughs> it's fucking useless. <laughs> I, know, I know you've been having a lot of drinks since about four o'clock this, this afternoon, Sally, and you're probably like... Who? Eh? Who said that? <laughs> right, I'm guessing you're in like that area, yeah? Yes, yeah, okay, I see you now. Yeah, don't take the piss. But Sally, do you know what a PDF stands for? No. After all that? <laughs> After all that? Never mind. It stands for Professional Dwarf Form. <laughs> I've seen seven. No, but I know what you're all thinking, and it's the same thing everybody thinks when they see me. God, that guy from Game of Thrones had a nasty accent, and me? <laughs> Just to be clear, I am not Peter Dinklage, okay? <laughs> now, if you can't really see what's on this t-shirt, basically, it's me wearing a t-shirt of Peter Dinklage, wearing a t-shirt of me, wearing a t-shirt of Peter Dinklage. <laughs> In basic terms, I'm having a breakdown. <laughs> I know breakdowns are more of a 2020 thing, but I'm a slow learner. Now, yeah, thank you. <laughs> now, I meet a lot of different and unusual people in my life, and, I've, and I don't know if you know this, but there's a thing where you actually have a phobia of dwarfs. Yeah? It's called lollipopagildophobia. I'm not making this shit up. Basically, it makes me sound like a sweet. <laughs> but just in case anybody in this room does have lollipopagildophobia... <laughs> If the government asked, I didn't just do that last bit. <laughs> but there's also the opposite phobia, which is called gigantophobia, which is fear of tall people. Are you okay there, George? Yeah, I'm just uh, suffering, you know, I'm, I'm struggling, you know. Do you, do you remember the techniques? Remember what remember what we said of the techniques? Yeah, yeah. Remember, when you turn around and you look at them, imagine them all with their knees chopped off instead of your height. <laughs> got ya, got ya. Thank you. Hey! <laughs> You're like me now. <laughs> no, but um, everybody I meet has a lot of interesting questions for me. Like, kids are the most interesting. They always say to me, why are you so short? And for that question, I have four answers. Answer one, and this one will help the parents out. I didn't eat my greens as a child. <laughs> Just a side note, the Jolly Green Giant's a prick. <laughs> Option, number two, answer number two I give them is, I melted in the sun. <laughs> I also have arthritis, so really, I'm fucked either weather or whatever it is, I'm fucked. Answer three. My mum accidentally put me in the washing machine as a kid. <laughs> but the fourth answer I give them is that I didn't pass on that text message to five of my closest friends within 24 hours of receiving it. <laughs> yeah, seriously, don't risk that. <laughs> but another question mainly that the adults ask me, the adults ask me, 
Do you like being a dwarf? Do you enjoy it? Well, a small part of me says yes. <laughs> but the most interesting question I think I ever got asked um, was by the careers advisor at school when he said to George, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> I'm still yet to give him that answer. But school for me was, uh, was really quite difficult because I went to an uh, old tall school, so I was, the, I was the only dwarf. And sometimes these kids would really try and get me to do shit that I didn't want to do. And I just blame my disability that I couldn't do it. But one, I remember one day, it was one of these days that you take off timetable and all like these people came in about jobs. And this army guy came in and he walked in and he went, Right! I want you not to have a race. I want you to go from there to there and back. Whoever's last has to do ten push-ups. So I look down there. I look down there. Yep, only dwarf. So I put my hand up and said, uh, do you mind if I just do the temperature now? Because I know for a fact I'm going to lose. This guy, this army guy looked at me and non-sarcastically I might say, added, no, you've got to believe in yourself. So I thought I believed in myself, but clearly not as much as what you believe in me. <laughs> like, heck, even the fat kid's going to trip, bounce and beat me. I'll tell you now. Anyway, he made us do the race, I lost, did the thing. But his optimism obviously spilled over into some of the other kids. A few weeks later, we had sports day. And I enjoyed sports day, because basically I did nothing for the whole afternoon. Result. Apart from this one year, where we were all signing up what sports to do, and as we were leaving, the teacher went, Right, whichever one of you hasn't put their name down, is automatically on the reserved list. Then it comes to the day, about half for a day, I'm earning think, think I'm good. Then I start hearing whispers. George, you're down for it, you're doing sport this afternoon. George, you've, you've been picked. I'm like, okay. Then the head of the year comes up to me and says, George, you've been randomly selected to do a sport this afternoon. I'm like, okay, what sport is it? Like, this is generally a true story. He went, you're doing the long jump. Sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're doing the long jump. Now, I'm a lazy person. Not even I am that lazy. That if I pulled out the name of the only dwarf in school, I'd go, meh, you never know. <laughs> what was worse was the other kids? Because I thought they'd all be like, nah, George can't do it, get someone else. Oh, no. One kid came up to me and went, go on, George, give me your best. You never know. I do fucking know. <laughs> then one of the other kids came up to me and went, Don't let us down, George. You taking a fucking piss. <laughs> Don't let you down doing the long jump. Well, get prepared for in about 20 minutes, you're in for a world of disappointment. So anyway, I turn up. Three of the tallest years and lads in the year were there. So anyway, they're looking at me, and I'm looking at them. And they're looking at me. I do look that big because it's the only time in my life I can ever look down on someone. So anyway, I did it. And what was worse was that I had one of my jumps disqualified. Apparently my wheelchair went just over the line that I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't jump in. But um, another part of our school was in the maths department. And anybody my age, give me, give me a cheer if you're around 20, 25-ish. Two really, really enthusiastic people going, mm. Do you remember a website called My Maths? Yeah. Yeah, one person, thank you. Well, for those of you who don't know, My Maths is basically hell. Basically, this website is to do a load of maths exams. Before, you get given a three letter password that's randomly created for you. Remember that? Randomly, three letters. So, anyway, I go to the teacher, go, Oh, what's my password? He goes, First letter, E. Second letter, L. You may start to pick up what this word's going to be. Third letter, S. I was bullied by an algorithm. 
branco. <laughs> Teacher went, do you want another one? I went, uh, yes please. He went, okay, I've got one. Uh, how about this one? B. I. G. <sighs> you gotta be fucking kidding me, really? Really? But no, apparently I wasn't allowed that one. Oh, that's how I've been on for 10 minutes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you have been a fantastic audience. I really hope you enjoyed the rest of your night. Thank you. Good night!